Yo, what is poppin' people? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Out of Order. Welcome back to the channel, and uh, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a fractal portal using trap code mirror, similar to what you saw in the preview. And uh, to make it, it's actually a lot easier than it looks, so uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make it. Also, before we get into the video, make sure to drop a like and comment down below what other tutorials I should make, and subscribe if you're new. But anyway, guys, let's get right into the video. So, Trap Clone Mirror is actually a lot easier than most people think, in my opinion. So, I'm just going to create a black solid right here. I already made a black solid. It's the same size as the composition. And uh, once you make the black solid, we're just going to add Mirror 3 onto it. Okay, once you add mirror 3, you're going to want to mess around with the size. So I'm just going to increase the X, Y, and Z size a little bit. And then we're going to mess with the bend setting. So we're going to change the bend to around 0 0.2 and uh, with the size of 2000. So once you do that, we're just going to mess around with the Y rotation, make it around 90 degrees. And then the position, you're going to want to position it to the center. So once you get it looking like a portal, we're just going to change it from XYZ link to XYZ original. We're going to mess around with the size and make it 2000 to what we had or, um, before. So 2000. And then the X size, we're going to increase that a whole lot more to make it um, a lot longer. You know, more of a tunnel. Now once you do that, we're going to mess with the X and Y vertices. So we're just going to increase these a bunch until we get something that looks pretty cool like that. And uh, you can mess around with some other stuff too you can mess around with the steps too i don't know why but if you want to mess around with the steps and get some cool patterns you can so yeah if you want something like that i mean that kind of looks cool i guess but yeah you can just mess around with these settings until you get something cool so once you're done messing with your geometry settings we're gonna mess around with the material settings so for material you can make it whatever color you want you can mess around with the ambience the opacity um the you, you can mess around with the ref reflection so if you want it to be really reflective you can make it super reflective and uh, see something like that looks pretty cool you can also choose a texture, so if you have a layer or like a like an image you want to put as a texture, you can just select it right here under texture. And uh, under shader, we're going to turn on ambient occlusion, so ambient occlusion, we're going to put that on. And then if you don't know what ambient occlusion is, it's basically like shading or kind of like the shadows, you know, it's like shading basically. You can also mess with the blending mode under shader right here, so if you want it to be normal, you can. And then, like, you can just increase, like, I don't know, the ambience to it. Or if you want to, you can make it, um, add or super add or whatever you want, really, just to make it look cool. Once we're done messing around with the shaders, material, and textures, now we can go into fractal and we can actually start messing around with these. So if you want to increase the amplitude and get something insane or crazy, you know, just, like, mess around with the settings until you get something cool. Um, what I like to do is I like to keyframe the offset or like, you know, mess around with the scroll too. So if you want it to travel down, you can use the scroll. However, I'm going to be teaching you a much better method of having it travel down the tunnel. So once you're done messing around with all your mirror settings, now we're going to actually composite it into your scene. So to do that, we're going to add an After Effects light. So we're just going to go to right click new light. Make sure it's a point light and then you can change whatever and then fall off. Make sure it's inverse squared. And then once you do that, hit OK. And you'll notice we'll get a light here. Now, we can position this light anywhere throughout the tunnel. So if we want it to be further back or closer or whatever, we can do that. We can also change the light's radius over here and color. So if we want it to be like a blue light for some reason, we can do that. Or like a, I don't know, like a white light, you know, or like a red light. You know, any color you want, really. So I'm just going to start duplicating my light sources. I'm going to get one here at the start. Maybe move this one down a little bit. So once you place lights all throughout your composition, now we're going to actually create a camera. So we're going to go to layer, right click new camera. And then this stuff will change later. But uh, once you make the camera, you're also going to want to make a new null object. So right click create new null object and then you're going to want to right or you're not going to want to right click sorry you're going to want to click on the parent option and parent the camera to the null object once you do that make the null object 3d 
And now if we press P on our keyboard on the null object, we can move it around throughout the 3D space or whatever, you know? So I'm just going to position my null object a little bit back, press the keyframe button, and then we're going to position it a little bit forward. So I'm just going to move this slider here to move throughout space and time or whatever. We can also press R on our keyboard and then go to Z rotation, keyframe that, go ahead in time, and then mess around with the values there. And then we can make it spiral or spin or whatever we want, really. Now, if we go back to our mirror settings and go at the very bottom to rendering depth of field if we enable that to use camera settings now if we go into our camera settings and turn on depth of field the f and mess around with the focal distance and aperture we can create some crazy borders here so if you want it to be blurry up close but further in the back you can do that so this is the result we have so far. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. But um, what I did in the preview was I motion tracked the mirror onto the solid, and then I motion tracked it into the edit. You can do that, but it's a little bit more um, it's a little bit more difficult. But uh, if you want to make it look a little bit better, what we can do is we can add we can start adding effects onto it. So I'll just make an adjustment layer, and then you can just add any effect you want to it, as if it was any other clip. So like we can add magic bullet looks, we can add deep glow, we can add whatever whatever plugin you want really and that's basically the end of the tutorial guys that's how to make a fractal tunnel using trap code mirror if you have any questions let me know down in the comments down below um but yeah that's basically how to make the portal effect um have fun experimenting with the settings in trap code mirror like there's so much you can do in here like you can keyframe you know the offset you can keyframe the scale the frequency the evolution so if you want it to like spiral throughout time or whatever you can do that so as you can see, if we keyframe the evolution on the trap code mirror, it looks completely crazy, all right? This is like some really trippy stuff. So yeah, guys, that's the end of the tutorial. Drop a like if it helped you out. Join my editing Discord in the description down below. Also, my editing pack is for sale. If you're, if you're interested in buying some presets and project files, you can check it out down below too. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.